Hey Collective, it's your girl. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Hope all is well. Remember that time is fluid, so whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest. What we got here, cracker. All right, guys. Just give me a sec here. Just trying to get organized here. I'm a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Let's see what's going on. What do we have here? These don't go here. Lord have mercy. Did I put the wrong card in there? Oh, I surely did. These don't even belong here. They belong over there. All right, let's see what's going on for today. Let's get us an early morning reading. What can we expect today, Spirit? Sorry, y'all. You know me. Mm. Damn. Fell. Oh, way over there. Okay. Let's not to stay over there till I finish. Spirit, what's the message for the collective? Please and thank you. What do we need to know this morning? This ain't gonna be long, it's gonna keep y'all too long. Okay, oh. Angel, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. Wow, and you know what I read this morning? Number two could be significant. This is about your values, things you value, your integrity, your morals, you know. Um, I was reading this morning in my Bible, in my reading, and it talked about God's grace and mercy, right? And about how we can't buy it. We can't. There's nothing we can do, right? And it had me thinking, you know, because it talked about how God has saved me from from my own hell, right? And he has. And it wasn't because of nothing I could have done. There's no amount of praying, preaching, doing good for humanity. This was all his grace and mercy, right? And there's a lot of days I always say that I feel like I don't deserve it, right? Sometimes I feel like, why me and why not everybody else, right? But see, God uses my pain, right? Because he knows that I'm going to use it to help other people. That I, Because I didn't become bitter, right? Because I chose to share my pain with you guys. And, and so it can touch somebody that's going through the same thing. I'm going and let them know that God will save you. There ain't nothing. Listen, don't let nobody tell you you got to be no certain way for God to love you. That's a lie. I'm a perfect example. This is why God uses me. All right, this is what he told me this morning. It's because I'm the perfect example of somebody that's been in the pits of hell. People judge me all day long. My, my family, my friends, it don't matter. You know, God ain't saved me because I was such a wretch, right? And I was. I was. I did some things. I hurt people. I hurt myself. I did. I didn't do anything, anything for him to come and pick me. He chose me because of my heart. Because, yes, I've been hurt. Yes, but am I getting retaliation? No, I don't want retaliation because I know the pain. He's shown me. If it hurt me, you think I don't think it hurts you too? No matter how we try to put that mask on and pretend we don't hurt. Yes, we do. We all hurt. But what are we doing with that pain? Are we out here hurting others because we were hurt? That's how it happened. I did, but I learned. I realized I was going the wrong way, right? Every every choice I made that I hurt somebody else, I had to find out the hard way that it was the wrong thing to do. It was the wrong way, but I had to learn, right? Just like even coming out of that addiction, I had to learn. First, I needed help because I didn't know the way. And then once that happened, then I had to learn how to choose for myself because there was no more excuses. They had showed me how to do it. I knew what to do. In the beginning, I didn't. I do now. And that's why I'm being used, right? To share it. I know sometimes I'll be, oh, get tired of hearing it. Listen, I don't care, but there's somebody out there that needs to hear that shit. Somebody needs to know that they are not suffering by themselves and that God will and is there. All we have to do is choose Him. And, it, and that's going to come from your heart. If you don't have it in your heart, that compassion, that love, you ain't going to choose God. You're going to choose the lower vibrational energy. And that's your choice. But for what's in a man's heart will flow from a man's heart. Period. 
It can't. You can't change that. That's energy. You cannot change. You can't destroy energy. It just moves. It just keeps moving. All right, let's keep going. But anyway, that's what I want to share. Oh, we got this. Let's get let's get some cards. I got the card I wanted out here. Let's get some cards. I'm gonna go with the um. No spirits that go with the energy cards. Go with the energy cards. Okay, spirit. Got you, got you, got you. These ain't the cards. Though. There they go. My lord, my lord. There we go. Soul's journey cards. That's what they are. The soul's journey. <sighs> I'm going to get it together, y'all. Give me a minute. Because I feel like I really just had an out-of-body experience just now. <laughs> I really do. I feel like I'm coming back like, what did I say? <laughs> Spirit, what messages do we have for the collective this morning? And that's for you, too. You know, I know I ain't the only one out here helping and serving the Lord. You know, I'm just willing. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I don't live in the life that I used to live. I'm grateful that I'm not in the environment that I was in. I'm grateful that I don't treat myself the way I used to. And I'm grateful that I don't allow others to treat me that way either. Because I started to love myself. Right? He gave me an opportunity to turn it around and clean it out. And that's what I did. He put me by myself to heal and to, and to help to support those that are trying to get here too. You know, that don't know, that won't, don't believe that God will love you, even in your darkness. Yes, he will. You have to choose him. Don't sit around and say, oh, God, don't love me. God, Listen, you got to choose him. He already chose you. That's why he made, a, made it available for you to open, come through the door. And that's the door through Jesus. That's why he, so he sacrificed his. So that you can have an opportunity if you so choose. But don't complain if you ain't choosing them. And I'm telling you, and stop attacking those that do. It's not going to end well. Spirit, what's the message? And repent. Of course, that's, that's another important piece. You have to, listen, you ask for forgiveness, you admit your sins, and you stop doing it. That's what repentance is, you stop doing it. Give us the message. Mm, trapped in fear. Look at that. Mm -hmm. What's this one? Accelerated motion. Change. Eight. Tra look, eight, eight. Come on now. February 88 could be significant. 288 here. All right. Accelerated motion. Something that you may have wished for is coming towards you. Or the universe is doing something that's happening. It's forward moving and it's happening. Somebody's trapped in fear. Somebody's afraid. Somebody feels alone. And isolated. I don't know what they're fear of. Their heart chakra. This is about their heart chakra. About love. Compassion. Obstacles and challenges. Yes, yeah, somebody's trying to move forward. But there's an obstacle. You know, somebody's afraid to move forward. Five and four. That's nine. Hmm. Some, something about a blessing. So they try. Ooh, look at that. You see that? You see that dove on that? I don't know if y'all can see it. That's printed on that rock. That's leading somewhere. Someone to go this way, right? But there's there's an obstacle. There's a disconnection, and it could be somebody's heart chakra. Mm -hmm. Somebody's heart chakra could be closed off. Somebody's afraid to open up. Somebody's afraid to open themselves up and allow love to come in. Somebody's in a, in a um, I, hmm, I heard fetal position, but somebody's so closed off to love because they've been hurt so much. Spirit, what's this message? But something is about to happen for someone. What's the two? Yeah, because this is about somebody's values. You know what they believe in. Somehow, some way they've been trapped, but that's about to change and it's about to happen quickly. All right, Spirit, what's this message? 288. Two, look at this, another two. Look at that. Sacral chakra, how somebody feels. Wow. Look, y'all, in another eight. 888. Eight, eight. You guys can be seeing 888222. Eight, eight, two, two. 
Positive movement forward. <clears throat> Let's see. Sacral chakra, how you feel. Accelerated motions. Mm. Look, stand your ground. Speak up. Speak up for yourself. Seven is what? Transformation, yeah. Once you start speaking up about how you feel. Standing your ground about how you feel. That's when your transformation is going to start to happen. When you stand up for yourself, right? Look, they go another seven. I can't make it up. Triumph. That's when the transformation will happen. And that's when your spiritual union will come in. Maybe this maybe this is about, you know, like uh, romantic relationships. This could be per I'm gonna say personal relationships. I'm gonna say that because personal relationships are what um holds our emotions, right? What's going on here, spirit? Anything else for my collective? Wow, look at all these these repeating numbers. So y'all can be seeing angel numbers, a lot of angel numbers. Yeah, look at another two. I can't make it up right in a line. Two, two, two. There it is. Mental conflict. Somebody's in their head. What they it's like what they what they what they know and what they're learning are clashing with each other, right? What you're seeing and what you're being, the information that's coming in is not matching what you're used to, right? This is a transformation of your mind, your body and your spirit. Okay? Mm. Triumph. Listen, there it is again. Change. Somebody has to overcome some kind of obstacle, some kind of mental conflict that they're having about, oh, spirit. They're conflicting with how they feel with what they do, right? That's why somebody can't move forward. They're not going with what they feel. They're not following their gut. They're not following their heart. Yeah, that's what this is. Somebody's not, listen, they got, they got emotional loss here too. Okay, so somebody may feel like if they take this chance, if they if they step over this this obstacle, this obstacle could be letting people go. Letting go of emotional attachments. Letting go of everything that you thought you knew, right? Or the way you were raised, right? Your root chakra. Mm-hmm. And following your passions, what you believe, what you're being. Shown. It's something you're, you're learning. Five and five. Come on now. And another seven. Look at this. Twenty-one. Seven, seven, seven is what? Twenty-one. The universe. Wow. The universe is working with you. The universe is trying to bring you some kind of victory. Yeah, but you need to... There's some kind of emotional loss that's blocking you from stepping over this threshold. Yep. And with this seven here, with this patience and planning, I feel like you've been going through a few seasons, right, of emotional loss. Going through the, the grieving process, the stages, right? Season in, season out, still grieving, still, you know, but it's, you have to take time. And nothing happens overnight. You can't just not love somebody or, you know, let go of, of, of like, a relationship that you've grown you know, to understand somebody just like that, right? It's a, it's a process of relearning, re detaching, right? Learning how to live without somebody, you know, learning how to be alone, all that good stuff, right? That's it, good stuff. Yeah, but this is, yeah, this is the universe that's that's prompting this change for you. Yeah, it's causing disruption. Listen, listen, listen. You better speak. You better listen. There's something about your throat chakra. It's something about what you say, what you speak. There's a chain. Six and one is seven. There it is again. Another transformation. Another seven. Mm hmm So something that you say is transforming you, is changing you. It's also causing some kind of disruption as well. You know what? Ooh, Spirit said what you say is releasing people from bondage. Come on now. Come on now. Spirit said, what you speak is releasing people from bondage. We got fertility and the truth. You speak in life. Come on now. What you speak, what you speak releases people from bondage. You speak the truth. You speak life. Listen, passion ignited. This is what you could be. Yeah, this is what you could be going through. Uh, conflict and issues in your mind, you know. Yeah, you need to have some kind of balance in your life. Okay. And if you're concerned about, 
you know, if this is the right path for you, I believe this is the path that God has chosen for you. Okay? I really do. The universe has chosen you for for this, for such this for this task. Okay, whatever this is, right? And you may be feeling like what the universe is calling you to do is different. Of course it's different. It's calling you to step outside the box. It's calling you to be vulnerable, to be transparent, right? It's calling you to be expose yourself. Come on, spirit. It's causing it's causing you to have to expose the enemy, the tactics of the enemy. That's what it's causing calling you to do. And you're afraid. You're afraid to step out there. You're afraid. There's some kind of fear conflict. What's the conflict? What's the conflict? That's what you got to figure out. There's got to be some kind of change here. And it's about emotional loss. Patience and planning. Overcoming something. Um, bridging a gap. There's a gap. What is this gap? But the angels are watching over you. So there's definitely something you need to overcome. You got to overcome something. And if this is about emotions, emotional connections, your heart, your heart connecting with the universe is calling. And you could be confused about it. Because this is what I'm picking up. Somebody's getting, is receiving their calling, receiving a calling, and they're confused about moving forward because of what? Conflict. What's the conflict? That's what you got to figure out. Let me see if I can see something here. What's the conflict spirit? Oh, I know what we're going to use. We're going to use these. Yeah, we're going to use the wild things oracles. Let's get us a wild thing oracle spirit. And then we're going to read it. And when that's, that's fine, we're going to find out what this fear is. All right, spirit, what's the message? Ooh, okay. What's the message here? Please and thank you. <clears throat> Can we get one copy? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Beware the happy toxins. Hmm. 16, 6, and 1 is 7. Come on now. Where my, where my book at, Spirit? Here it is. Let's see. 16. Beware of the happy toxins. Some of the prettiest plants are poisonous. Look at this situation from many angles. Play devil's advocate. You will be tempted to act, but discernment is what you need first. When you see happy, red, delicious berries, it's your job to investigate. Sometimes what is too good to be true is indeed good and true. Wow. Sometimes you get to devour all of that tasty goodness, moving beyond fear and doubt to, to risk greatness. Other times you would be better off to say no and cleave to your current com commitments. This is one of those times. Enjoy the happy right now, but investigate it closely. Something isn't as it appears. Something isn't as it appears. Hmm. Mm, let me get one more of these. Something isn't as it appears. So I can I can uh, say that what you're fearful of or what you're afraid of isn't actually what it appears. And then it also said in here about feeling like something is too good, right? Too good to be true, and actually it really is good, right? So sometimes, sometimes when we're presented with something and we can feel like it's too good to be true, right? Like this blessing, this grace and mercy that God has given you too good to be true, right? Feeling like you don't deserve it, right? You didn't worry. You didn't do anything. You did everything fucking wrong, actually, right? Feeling like you don't deserve it. But you do. Spirit said you do. And get that out of your head that you don't because of the choices you made in the past. Understand that. You're under God's grace and mercy. If your life has changed for the better, that's God's grace and mercy. You know it wasn't you because you would have did it a long time ago. Right? Ain't nobody willingly sitting in bullshit and fear and anxiety and pain. Ain't nobody willingly choosing that shit. Right? So, yes. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. <laughs> 
Oh, come on. Give me one more of these. I think we need one more of these, spirit. Please and thank you. <laughs> yes, this is your victory. This is yours. Yes, you can come up out of that fear and feeling like, you know, you don't deserve it. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We all do. We all do. Spirit, what's the message for my collective? Yeah, please and thank you. What we got here? Gratitude or forgiveness. Look at that. Gratitude or forgiveness. Light the candle of grace. Oh, didn't I just tell you it was God's grace? Light the candle of grace. Gratitude and forgiveness. Come on now. Listen, and bury your dead. What's dead is dead. What's past is past. Let him go. Let it go. Release it. That's what we got to learn how to do. We all do. We have to learn how to let go of things that have happened and, and let them go so we can move forward. No, listen. Don't hold on to that shit. The devil want to keep you stuck on stupid, stuck on fear, stuck in pain. Let's read. Let's read 21st. Number 20 could be significant. 34 could be significant. Four. Five, four and three is seven. Look at that. Another seven, y'all. Y'all could be seeing seven, seven, seven. Y'all ever seen that, that commercial for that lawyer? His number is seven, 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 seven. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get to 20. What we got here? I'm going to read these because I feel like we deserve it. We need it. Gratitude or forgiveness. The point of power is always in the present moment. Find it through the garden of gratitude. If you can't get to gratitude, get to forgiveness, right? There is a time to forgive yourself. There is a time to honor your grief, frustration, resentment, blame, and trauma. But that's not what this moment calls for. If you can't find your way to the garden, then forage your way through the forest of forgiveness. The hardest thing to do is forgive a person who hasn't asked for it. They don't care that they hurt you, right? They don't seem to care. They don't have any remorse, right? Or let go of a situation that continues to harm you. Even when you know you're in the right, you can be right. You can be right or you can be free. Who? You can be right or you can be free. Come on now. This moment invites you to elevate your energy through acceptance, forgiveness, or gratitude. Accept the invitation and watch how your inner reality begins to reshape and redefine your outer reality. Man, listen. And what's 34? 34, 34, 34. Mm, okay, yeah. 34, light the candle of grace. Man, you see this picture? This looks like, see, this is a unicorn. This is very a very unique individual, right? That's covered in, in, in candle wax, right? So it looks like it's ruined. It's no good, right? That's, that's us. We're very unique individuals. We're, we're chosen ones, right? We're unique. We have a unique gift, right? And we're covered with mud with all the past, all the transgressions and the, and the choices that we made that weren't so um, flattering, right? But God said, listen, I can, still, I can still use you even in this state, right? Because you can let somebody else know even in this state, God still forgave you and God still gave you grace and mercy, right? Come on, spirit. Mm. Here we go. It arrives by itself on the coattails of surrender. Mm. In a society that pro society that profits from you feeling less than, come on now. You might believe that strength comes from performance, what you can do, right? Success and dominance. But nature wants you to know that prowess and power and your own creative spark comes from balance. Between an active will and a surrender to what is. Picking your battles, right? Doing what you can't do on the physical, but those things you can't do, give it to God, right? Those things that cause you too much strife, that cause you too much, you know, energy and folk, give it to God, right? Come on, man. Refuse to take things personally. See yourself as part of the living organism of nature. Accept what is while engaging your creativity to, to shape your personal reality. Between those opposite energies lies grace and the fierce tender flame of your soul, of your soul spark, which refuses to be snuffed out even in the darkest times. Never, ever surrender. Come on now. I don't care what it looks like. 
God's grace and mercy, especially for us that have candle wax all over us and scars. Hmm. All right, y'all. That's your message. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Deuces.